there, welcome to University Lab Tech School. I'm Lori, the Lab Tech, and today I'm going to show you about starting your bacterial cultures from these tubes. So I have three different setups, um, or two different setups that I use. I use these uh, TS, I start my cultures on TSA uh, slants that I've already made, and I also start the cultures on my mess up plates um, just to see what the make sure the bacterial colonies look good um, and uh, I have I, I start my cultures um, each culture with two tubes one is one that I dig out um, throughout the whole uh, semester and then the other one I save for the unknowns at the very end of, of the semester so I don't touch it until the very end. So here I'm gonna show you my techniques um, to start bacterial cultures. First, I label everything with the Sharpie. You're gonna label the back side of your plate with each of the bacteria, which I abbreviate um, just with two letters. So B serious is B, C. And I date it, which is 9-11, uh, and initial, and all of my tubes. B-series would look something like this. Okay. Now, um, before that, I line up all of my bacteria how I want to, to do this. Um, E. coli, you want to make sure everything's separate. Um, just um, quick sticks, that's what they're called, quick sticks. Instructions. So we're gonna open the packet and you take off the label. I, I like to take the label off and put them on my plate. And then you're gonna crush um, on the bottom, which is where the bacteria is. And you crush the lid up top, which is where the the um, medium is and then you mix it by pushing your finger down um, up and down to get the um, bacteria mixed with the broth and to reconstitute it that's basically what that what we're doing and this is how you would do use a bottle um, I'm only showing you this part because we're gonna be putting some of the sticks on the plates so the instructions and now we're gonna show you how I do it so they come in a packet like this like I said biohazard um, you want to just make sure the label that it reads on the outside is the same as the label that it reads on the inside um, on the stick itself you also want to be careful because sometimes I've opened this package and this um, stick has been dis has been, was pulled up, so um, you just want to make sure that it's closed, and so you just push it down if it's open in the bag, and then try to grab it all completely out, and you want to hold it by the bottom, so for the same reason that if you hold it by the top, it might fall down. The sticky stuff is pretty loose, the stickers. So again, you just check the label, B Megaterium matches this B Megaterium, and then um, you can throw this away or in the biohazard if you like. And uh, uh, the next thing I do is line up all my work um, with my plates and my tubes because I'm gonna be working pretty fast. Um, and when I'm done, these tubes will go into the incubator for 24 hours. Except for um, Sharesha. Uh, Sharesha um, Marcessens. Um, it kind of likes to be left at room temperature to turn a pink color. So uh, I'll keep that out of the, I'll let it incubate for 24 hours. And if I don't see the pink forming, I'll let it um, incubate at room temperature um, for another 24 hours before I put them all in the refrigerator when they're done growing. This is how you crush, you crush, I like to start with the top, the liquid, 
get the auger. Sometimes you need to press it on a table bench. break the bottom as well. Be careful not to when you squeeze up and down. See how the liquid is mixing with so the bacteria is mixing with the broth. So I'll let those sit doesn't matter which one you do first, but the broth is just easier so that the, there's a liquid for the bacteria to go in. right here in the middle. Right here it's hard. It's just holding the vial. And this is our bacteria. Gets pretty stinky. bacteria strand, I'm going to wipe my, spray my hands like this, bleach, wipe them, just to make sure I didn't get any bacteria on them. Okay, so here I go. Take my tube, sterilize, get this ready. So be serious is my first one. I take the label off and I put it on my plate that I'm going to be creating a lawn for. I take my plate and my tube and my um, and my quick stick or lipo disc stick, and I get it ready. Um, I'm gonna go up and down on this, and I'm gonna loosen the cap so it's easy for me to get to. And then this one, I'm gonna show you how I sterilize the cap, put the tube in, squiggle it around and then um, put it back in and sterilize the lid, the, the lip, I mean the lip of the tube and put the cap back on. So here we go. Bird. 
ready to be biohazard. This is going in my incubator. And we're done with the first one. Could sterilize my bench where I just worked. That's it. That's it. And we just repeat making sure we have the right bacteria in here. Q-tip is not going to reach the bottom of the test tube, of the auger, but that's okay. You invert this test tube to make sure no contaminants to it. That's why it's facing down. with my pinky so and then I remove the cap with this right hand and I just rest it in between here while I pull this up and work the auger and with the plates it's like you hold it and you grab the plate this under, or you could flip it a little bit. That's it. Let's go in the incubator. Thanks for joining me at University Lab Tech School. I'm Lori the Lab Tech. Bye!